everybody, thanks for watching. This is a video response to the collaboration that's been going on, Why Are We On YouTube? And I'm really excited to have been tagged by Stony Creek Heritage Farm. And I'm gonna put a link to that awesome channel up here in the corner. Please go check him out and all of his great information and his videos. All right, you ready? Question number one is, why did you start your YouTube channel? And it's kind of a funny story. My husband has had a YouTube channel now for several years, and I didn't really quite understand it. He would tell me how many views he got on a certain video that he put up and um, how many subscribers he had, but I didn't really do a lot with YouTube. And then he started talking about getting money from his AdSense account, which kind of got my interest. And he had told me a few times, maybe I should do a video about chickens, or maybe I decided to do it. I'm not sure, but either way, a few years ago, we had done a few videos on chickens that I put on his channel. And I found it was kind of fun. I liked doing it. We have a lot of things going on out there that I knew would be helpful to people, especially about some of our broody hens and how we kept our chickens together in groups. Because those were things I had to learn the hard way most of the time. And sometimes you can read something, but it's just not the same as seeing how someone else has it set up. So I knew that that might be able to help someone too. So about a year and a half ago, I decided to start my own channel. And I put up some gardening things, I put up a lot of chicken things, and it's really been fun, and here I am today. Number two, name two videos you are most proud of now. I say this cautiously because I'm not really proud of them because they're gonna win some video award, but each one of them was kind of a milestone for me. And probably the first one is my Raising Rabbits, one of my Raising Rabbits videos, and it's called Garden and Yard Foods Your Bunny Can Eat. Hi there, this is Ferdler, my garage rabbit. videos because I played a lot with my editing software got some music in there and put some different pictures so um, I was kind of happy the way it turned out just as far as me learning how to to do a little better with editing because before I really didn't know how to do anything and add anything into my videos so that one has music and it has um, you know pictures that that go through and it also has a lot of pictures from my my garden which looked kind of pretty at that point so I like it for that and the second one is my broody hen video where it's called hatching with a broody hen all the way and the reason I like that one is it really does goes from the whole process of starting with the hen when she's broody moving her um, incubating the eggs to the actual hatch where the chicks are so it, it was you know at least three three weeks maybe three and a half from start to finish by the time I got it up so it was kind of a long-term video for me and I was really happy to have done that and recorded the whole process for people to see it's been about a week and a half and my broody hen is still sitting on her eggs so the next time we see her she should have some chicks or we're gonna have a really sad story. We'll see how it goes. Question number three is what subject or topics do you plan to create videos on in the upcoming weeks? And I'm sure that's going to include turkey videos because the first time since I've had my channel, we have turkeys. So I've, I've got a lot of videos to put up about those and raising them and different things going on with those. So I'm sure turkeys will be in there and I'm sure chicks will be in there and probably some meat birds in there because we're going to be having those in about a month and with any luck if the weather cooperates at all I might be able to throw in a kayaking video but it's not looking too promising at this point. Question number four. What is something random about yourself that has not been discussed in previous videos? And I would have to say that we have a daughter that's going to be 16 next week. So that's 
something I don't think I've mentioned, but it's pretty significant for a variety of reasons. Probably the biggest, the fact that she's driving and um, has had her permit now for a couple months, but she's very serious now about getting that drive time in so she can get her license in a few weeks. So 16 is big. For those of you who have teenagers, we've already had two that um, have grown up now. So like 16 is kind of that magic number where you're like, wow, they're almost grown up. So it's pretty significant. And finally, the last question is, what are what is a goal or your goals for your YouTube channel? And I would say right now, my very, very short term goal is to be able to get my subscribers to a thousand and my watch time up so that I can get monetization again. Um, I had done the last thresholds like many of us had and then lost that here just recently. So I am short term working towards that. But overall my goal is and always really has been just putting up videos that are fun to make, things I think that I might have something to share with so that hopefully it can help other people. Okay, well part of the fun is tagging someone else and I'm really kind of laughing about this because I am tagging my husband, Steve Stoltz. We'll see if he does this or not. But I'd also like to tag anyone else who hasn't been, please jump in and join this. It's really fun and it's great to get to know all of you and your answers. So consider yourself tagged and I look forward to hearing your responses to this. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't so you don't miss any of my videos.